Abu, could you please sign the signature for my trip tomorrow? Oh, wow, I see you're going to Ashtod. That's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> what bracha do you make when you see the ocean in Ashtod? Uh, oh, it's a Oh, it's a Mice that's right. What a Tamachach we have over here. Amazing. Okay. We're going to the Dead Sea. You're going to the Dead Sea? The huh. lowest place in the world. Wow, that's amazing. Let me, let me ask you a question. What bracha do you make when you see the Yam Amelch, the Dead Sea? Is it the same bracha that you make when you see the ocean in Ashtod? What do you think? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Let's go check that out. Hold on. Okay, what do we got over here? Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Okay. As he says, we look up in Mr. Bura, Simon, Reish, Chavches, Ha'ara, Seven, Ha'ara, Zion. Okay, get me the Mr. Bura. Okay. All right. Oh, so I see it's a big machlokes. It's a big machlokes like this: the Maru Ketzia, the Arlet Tzion, and Rav Nissan Karelitz all say that you make the same bracha when you see Am Melech that you make when you see the ocean in Ashdod. Rav Yoshev and Rav Ozner are mesupak. They have a shaila, and they say because they're not sure what's the shaila. They're not sure if Am Melech was there from the beginning of the world. A very interesting machlokes of Paiskim. Oh, guys, one, one last thing. Um, Chaim, you have enough water? Make sure to drink a lot, okay? Menachem, don't forget, what bracha do we make when we see the Yam in Ashdod? Right, very good. Guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Rabbi Yisrael, I have a question for you guys. What's the halacha regarding saying Tfil Sederach from here to Yerushalayim? Because there's a lot of uh, co- communities on the way. I heard that Rav Shlomo Zalman said not to say Tfil Sederach when you're going from Yerushalayim to Tel Aviv. I remember that the Chazanish said that he used to say Tfil Sederach. Why? He said it's, there's always dangers on the road and there's car accidents. So he always said Tfil Sederach. Yisrael, it's amazing that you called me right now. Why? Are you in Kailu now? Listen, I need you to look up a Shailah for me. I'm on the way to Yushalayim, and I want you to look up the Shailah, the Holchik Shailah, whether you say Tvil Saderach when you're driving in from Beit to Yushalayim. All right, one second. I'm opening the Mafteach right now. Okay, Tvil Saderach. It's on page 517 and 518. Aha, here's a Shailah about whether you make the bracha of Tvil Saderach when there are communities and people living all along the road. Simon Kufiud Ha'ara 34. Very interesting, Shaila. Let's see. So the question over here is now, when you say Tfil Saderach, should, every, should one person have in mind for everybody? Or should everybody say Tfil Saderach by themselves? Okay, so I'm just going to look at the Mafteach here. Okay, and aha, I got it. Okay, listen to this. Ready? So, Lotzi Sidi Chova Meacher. This is what it says in the Mafteach to take a look at the Mishnah Bruah in Ha'ara 15. Okay, so in the Ha'ara 15, it says to look up the Dasa Beisha of Ram, and he says that it's better that because it does, it's a Bakos Rachamim, you could um, be Yoytze with somebody else. Chaim Kanievsky says it's actually better that everybody should make the Bracha by themselves. Do not be Yoytze with somebody else. Okay, thank you, Yisrael. Oh, by the way, what did you want? You called me, what did you want? Isn't that important? We'll talk when you come to the call. Great, looking forward. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank you, Yisrael. Thank you. Yisrael. Thank thank you, you. Later. Okay. How's everybody doing? Shalom Aleichem. Shalom Aleichem. Thank you. Hey, how's everybody? Good morning, Rabbi Isai. As you can see, I just got here from the airport, and I have a Suffolk. Do I have to say Birkas HaToyra? What's my Suffolk? I took a nap on the flight. I was in a sitting position. Now, it was nothing like a Shainas Keva, a deep sleep. It was more like a Shainas Arai. For Shainas Arai, I know you don't have to make Birkas HaToyra. The question is, is sleeping like this on the plane, does that require Birkas HaToyra? The Sefer HaMafteach on the Mishnah Vruh deals with this Shailah of making Birkas HaToyra after sleeping on a plane in Sim Mem Zayin. There in our Ara 25, we find the opinion of the Chazanish on the question of somebody who fell asleep in his clothing even for a few hours and even on a bed. Rabbi Yashiv too addresses the question of sleeping in a sitting position on a plane and he concludes that this is the normal method for sleeping on planes and one would therefore recite the bracha of Birkas HaToyra after the waking up. We're just left with the question of whether Rabbi Yashiv would give the same psaq for a light nap, which is nothing like a regular night's sleep. Oh. There's a problem in the local steeple. 
One of the mispanelim took out the wrong Sefer Torah that was not rolled out to the right parsha. When the Gabbai realized that it wasn't, there was a whole argument whether they should put the Sefer Torah back and bring out the second one that is rolled out to the right place. Mm-hmm. Are you able to check up the halacha for me? Sure, yeah, let's look up together, come. The Sefer Mavteach, under the heading of Kriyas Torah, discusses the question of what to do when the Sefer Torah that was removed from the Aron Kodesh is not the one which is rolled to the right place. The Mishnah Bruah Simen Kuf Mem Dala discusses this question in Ha'ara 10. There the opinions of the Paiskim are brought down. The Gris Moshe Paskins that everyone should do according to his minig. If there's no Tircha for the seaboard to use the Sefer Torah that they already took out and to roll it to the right spot, Better just use that Sefer Torah. Gracias, Shikoyach. Where can you buy this Sefer Hamafteach? It's amazing. We will now discuss a bunch of questions that were sent in. I'm going to start with one of them on Hilcha Shabbos. Let's say a person is walking on Shabbos and he steps into a puddle without realizing it. And both his feet, his socks, his shoes get sopping wet. Can he continue walking? Because every step he's going to take it's going to be squeezing out a sock. It's going to be schita. You know, it so happens to be that I have this new Sefer Hamafteach on the Mishnah Brura. Beautiful Sefer. I was looking forward to using it. And he brings here that if I look in the Mishnah Brura, Simon Shin Aleph, Ha'ara 111, I'll find the Allah. And it says here in the Mishnah Brura, and the same thing in Simon Tafresh Yudalid, Ha'ara 18, the Mishnah Brura brings that there's no iser schita, even though every step he takes is a psik reisha. In fact, the Mishnah Bura goes on to say that there's a number of reasons that this is okay, but there are those who say that you should be makbid to remove your socks as soon as possible. More than a decade after Dirshu's groundbreaking edition of the Mishnah Bura was published to great acclaim, and just before Dirshu makes a siyam on the second machzor of Seydu Limud Dafayami Bahalacha, a new sefer is being presented to the Oilam HaToyro, a beautiful and useful sefer hamafteach on the Mishnah Brura. By now, there is no question that Dirshu has caused a worldwide revolution in the study of Allah, and that this new sefer will only assist that in a great way. This is a very thought out process, very deep and very consistent. Dirshu has taken learning halacha and being careful while keeping halacha to a whole different level. This was achieved through the Dirshu edition of the Mishnah Brewer with the successful launching of the Dafayami Bahalacha program by implementing Dirshu programs in numerous kailim and through thousands of shiurim which are given all around the world. And now comes something new and exciting, the creation of a truly groundbreaking Sefer HaMafteach. This Sefer is mamish a key to help unlock the treasures of the Mishnah Brewer and the Piske Halacha of the Achorenim which are brought down in the Biurim and Musafim of the Dirshu edition of Mishnah Brewer. The Gedalim were very much in favor of this project. They gave tremendous encouragement and blessed the undertaking with all their strength, instructing their followers to begin learning the Dafayami Ba'alacha, and Kla Yisrael obeyed. Today, so many are learning and living al Alacha and understanding how to make sure to avoid all of theirs and spiritual pitfalls. And the Holy Zayda, the Chavetz Chaim, Zeichet, Tzadik, the Kodesh Levracha, can now feel assured that his vision was fulfilled. There can be no doubt that he is actively working as a Melis Yosha for us and for all those who study and keep halacha so that all will be good with them throughout their lives.